going to do a panorama. So we're going to run her up to about 80 foot, 900 foot. Okay, I'm going to look down. Actually, that's probably too high. Now I'm going to back up. I want to go over the house, so I'll gimbal down. So there, I want to get right over the center of the house. So there, whoop, there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and start recording too. Um, I want to. Well, no, we're going to do a panorama. So we're we're going to wait. Now I'm going to get my gimbal set the way I want. I want a panorama like that with just a little bit of sky showing. Okay. Now I'm going to go to video mode and click panel. Okay. So now I'm in panorama. Okay. Panel. It's starting it. So she's taking pictures now in this panorama. I'm at I'm at 97 foot mm -hmm. elevation. Okay, I did it. So the panorama's done. Now what it's doing is processing it. 69%. Now why did that screen shut off? There we go. I gotta set my... We have a remote monitor and it shut off, but I think I have to do the battery saver on it. It's a battery powered monitor. So it's 97% complete. So it's processing those panoramic images. So when I download it, it'll be able to put it up on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Panorama's completed. So that's the panorama. Now, right now, I have 43 minutes of flight time available. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go ahead. We're already at 100 foot. I want to go and fly over with thermal infrared. I'm going to activate thermal infrared. Oh, I got to get off. I got to take it off the panorama and get back to single mode. There we go. Now I'll go to IR. So you can't be in IR mode in panorama. So here, yeah. now what's interesting, see the shade, the shadows cast by the trees on the street? Yeah. Oop, i got to link my, there we go, so link my right. zoom. Right, so if I click, if I click here, you see it's 84 degrees. We're in the center, see that little spot? Yeah. I'll move in 78, see colder, 69 in the shade. See how I go where it's really dark? Yeah. I guess it's 72 right there. What is it on top of an LP? Okay. Like well, right now we're black hot. Black hot. This okay. is set for black hot. Okay. Oh, and let me shut off. Let me shut off my uh, temperature deal here. So it gives me a full range. So black hot is what we're set at. Now we truly have so there there was a hundred hundred and thirty five degrees. On that roof. See it? 135.3 yeah. degrees. That's an asphalt roof, maybe uh, shingle, yeah. So here now I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to fly over. Uh, we're going to fly over the park. Oh, I got to zoom back. Sorry. There we go. So now we're, and we're still in line of sight. I can still see the drone. So 
It's a nice thing about having a strobe light set on it. Okay, let's see here. So there's Charlie's place right there. Yeah, that white tie bag he's put on the side is definitely kept the temperature down. Now, what's nice about this is I can go in here and go side by side. I hit SBS. Now oh. I can see visual yeah. with what on the left side is the IR and the right side is the... Uh, is the uh, uh, I'm zooming in. Now let's turn and see if we see uh, any any people. In black hot, we will see a person that is uh, out there. Whoops! I wanted to. I wanted to gimbal down. There we go. And there's a vehicle. There's a golf cart. And one coming the other way too. So then if I want to change my spectrum, I'll go to iron red. Uh, no, go to yeah, iron red. We'll do is iron red for a minute. We'll zoom back. So this was a hundred foot. So we're looking at a hundred foot with a thirty-two to nine oh, I, I want to change my mode. See, notice I'm thirty-two degree to nine hundred and thirty-two degrees, the mode. I'll change it and watch the IR whether it improves it the the picture so now I'm see look at the look at the difference in the oh, picture yeah. Yeah. now that is because I also have it remembers that I had this I'm looking between 68 and 86 degrees so I'm looking for people but I'm going to shut it off so now but see how much better the picture is because I've got a narrower range with the uh with the unit So I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I'll gimbal down. See, what's nice about this is, you see the compass? Right now I'm heading south. Home is just to the left. That, that's indicating where home is. So we'll turn. Now I'm going to take it up to 200 foot. If you use your thumb, if you touch your finger on these three dots in the upper right corner, you'll get this menu. And it's kind of like, it's irritating. It'd be nice if they had that where you can say, only go there if I hold that for two seconds or something. Or a second. So I'm going to go ahead and take her up to, uh, we're going to run her up to 200 foot now. And I got 25 minutes of flight time. There we go. Now we're at 200 foot, and I am, I'm zoomed out all the way. I'll go ahead and calibrate the uh, camera, the infrared. I'll gimbal up. I'll zoom in on the clubhouse. Oh, there are people at the pool. Oh, yeah, there is. They don't show up real well in that water. Well, now I'll go ahead and go back to Black Hot. 
and I'll turn on the thermal range. Now we're recording. Um, it's a little bit noisy there. That doesn't help, does it? So I'm going to go back to shut off the. I could I could change the settings. Drop it down to. So there I'm saying you only show me things between. There we go between 75 and 80 degrees. Now I want to increase the 80. So now I'm going to only show me things that are dark or, or warm. So there, for search and rescue, there between 78 and 87 degrees. Now I'm going to go back to the full view of the infrared. Now I'll zoom in on the pool. It's a little, it's a little easier to see it. You can see the people. I mean, it is. Whoops. Now I'll go ahead. It's a little pixelated because we're zoomed in. I'm going to zoom back. And I'm going to gimbal down and move forward. And we'll go over the pool. What are you doing this for? We're just doing it to practice. I'm doing some pra I just updated the firmware. Yeah. And kind of demo and we're gonna do a YouTube video on this. Mm -hmm. Just kind of show. So here here, there you can see. And if I click, if I box in the pool, now I can see there's fifty two degrees on the low. And now there's some you're getting reflections, so it's not accurate. Yeah. Uh but now I'm gonna go ahead and drop elevation I down. See how that works through. Search and rescue out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Right. It works very well on water. Yeah. When I run this on the Mississippi River, I can spot logs coming down the river and everything. Right. So here I'm I'm at 150 foot. I'm going to drop her down to 100 foot. There. I'm 100 foot now, and you can obviously see people in the water. And and now I'll shut off the the search. I'll go back to now we're black hot. You can see it's it's not as easy to find those people. Right, yeah, they're there. Though. They are there. That's right. But if I go to white hot, there you can kind of see a little bit easier. Zoom in a little bit. There, there is starting to spot. There's a 91 degree temperature point right there. Hmm. Now, if I go back to thermal, turn it on, now they really stand out. Mm -hmm. You know? See, the roof is 137 degrees down here at this corner. Yeah. Hmm. So I go back and shut okay. that off. I'm going to shut that off. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thanks I've got a lapel Thanks mic on. Me know. You bet. You bet. Okay, so what we're going to do now. Later. See you later, Denise. Denise. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to swing to the side. There's somebody coming out of the corral. There's some people standing there. Now, here's where side by side's nice when you're in the daytime. Yeah. So you can really spot who they are. See? Yeah, I know who they are, but I'm not going to mention because it's on YouTube. Oh. So, yep. Yeah. They don't have their, you know, right. they don't know I'm doing that, so I'm not going to push it. I got 24 minutes of flight time yet. I'm going to go ahead and run her back up to 200 foot. I'm going to shoot over the park. Whoops. Zoom back. Gimbal down. Turn a little bit. See how home point is? Yeah. See how home point's moving around? Yeah. In relationship? Okay, here we go. 
Now I'm going to turn it back on. So it's, I'm going to put it back on temperature. So like we're going to be searching for somebody. Because that's what this flight's for is to simulate search and rescue. So I'm going to just go ahead and drive on forward. There you see the shadows of the, of the palm trees on the pavement. And I could change the temperature again, but it's okay. Very effective. See, there's a golf cart. I saw it. You can see it really stands out on infrared. We'll go over to Charlie's. Charlie's doing some construction. We're going to get right over him. There we go. Now we'll drop her down. I'm going to go ahead and rotate now. So there's Charlie's park model. Get a little bit of... So here, we're going to go ahead and... Yes. Okay, so here, we're going in. Now we're at 68 foot right now above ground. We'll go ahead and come forward a little bit. We'll drop her down to... So there I'm showing obstacle. It's a tree. It's that palm tree. So I'm going to shift a little bit. He's got his Tyvex on. So here, what what were we hitting? Check this out. See, right there? There's yep. the palm tree. Yep. That's what the uh, obstacle avoidance was telling me. So now if I go back to turn on my... Oh, I guess I'd left it on. I'll shut it off. So we're at 35 foot. Yeah, that's working pretty good. We'll go back to Black Hot. That really shows how warm it is. And I'll turn on this here again. So I'm looking for a human between 87 and 78 degrees. I don't see anybody out there. Oh, there goes somebody. That's Paul. So there, Paul's running his dog. Now I don't want to, I want to take her back up to I want to get above the palm trees. I don't even want to take a chance. There we go. I'm at... Now I'll turn it back on for human search. Oh, I guess I still had it on. If I shut it off, there you can see black hot. There, again... Just adjusting the color palette here, or the temperature range between 91 and 78. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there he is. There's the bicyclist. There's somebody walking there. If I shut if I shut this off now, I'll just go to Black Hot. That Black Hot works pretty darn good too, as you can see. Somebody walking. I'll go shut off side by side. All right. And you see the little diamond here showing yeah. where the home is. So if I gimbal up, there we are. We're sitting right under here. Now again, if I go back to search mode, I call it search mode. We're not in that color spectrum, are we? Let me go side by side. That way it's over on the side, and I'll try adjusting this again. See if we show up under the canopy. Oh, there. There we go. Well, there's a lot of temperatures. Now I'm showing up as red. Fifteen minutes of flight time. There you can really see us under there, under the canopy right there. You see it? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and end this video, and uh, I'll I'll uh, return this thing to home here. All right, here's the panogram that was recorded. I'll just spin it around a little bit here. See, you can look up in the air with it. Some construction going on out here. I'm not sure what this little shadow here down the screen is, but it is what it is. You can zoom in, zoom out. So over here, Right over here is the pool we flew over. Right there. This is the RV park. Here's my house. It distorts it, obviously, because we're sitting over it. Here's a house under construction. There's some friend's house right here. I can zoom in, look down on it. All right, so that is the panel that we recorded.